Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 41, and production for the Superman reboot has officially wrapped. After 153 days of shooting, it is over. What a journey. I know it's only been five months, but in that time, we have had 30 episodes of The Road to Superman. From the first look at the emblem at the end of February, to seeing Superman's suit for the first time, then to set photos of a lighter suit that wasn't battle damaged, and then also seeing the other heroes in their costumes made by Maxwell Lord. A lot has happened in that time, and now production is over. And to wrap up production, Gunn posted this photo with the following caption. And that's a wrap. God bless our cast and crew whose commitment, creativity, and hard work have brought this project to life. I set out to make a movie about a good man in a world that isn't always so much, and the goodness and kindness and love I've encountered on a daily basis on the set has inspired me and thrust me forward when I felt too spent to move on my own. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. It has been an honour. The destination has been Superman, but the journey has been the toil and the laughter and the emotions and ideas and magic we've shared together on set, and for that I'm forever grateful. Photo from our first week of shooting in Svalbard Norway. So a lovely message from Gunn. I love the line, I set out to make a movie about a good man in a world that isn't always so much, and I think that is a clue to how the DCU will be. I think the DC universe will be overrun with bad people within it. Villains and heroes. Obviously the villains will be bad, but I think many of the heroes will not be great heroes. I believe Superman will be the focal point of the DCU, inspiring the other heroes who he interacts with to be better and I think it's going to build to a point where he and maybe Batman or another hero will form the Justice League not only to help save the world but also to help guide upcoming heroes to be better. Based on what we know from the DCU, Gunn is planning on having a universe where many of the heroes don't have very strong morals, so they are fine with working for companies like Lord Tech and don't worry too much about putting people in danger if it means catching or even killing the criminals. And Gunn Gunn's fascination with the genre has been for the smaller characters, specifically villains or anti-heroes who become heroes. I think a real strong theme throughout the DCU will be redemption. How you may have done something wrong, or you may not be the best person, but you can go on a journey to try and fix what you did, or maybe just to try and be a better person. And that is an inspiring message. Nobody's perfect, and we will make mistakes, some will make bigger mistakes than others, but coming out of the darkness and into the light will will be a very inspiring message, and who better than Superman to help spread that message. I believe that is why the first project is Creature Commandos, to start off the DCU with showing how bad people can actually do some good. Yes, it is a recycled concept that he used in the DCEU, but I think it is a part of that same message, and it will feel far more beneficial later down the line. The same goes for Peacemaker. I think in this universe, he is actually going to be a bit more of a hero, and with his brother and father rumoured to be alive in this timeline, I think his father and brother are going to be worse than Peacemaker, and it's actually up to him to show them how to be better, or to at least try. Maybe that causes some conflict, and that could be one of the themes in the show, but I think Peacemaker will also be one of the characters who rose from the darkness into the light. Yet again, redemption. And I think Superman will be the catalyst that gets that message out there, and then the other heroes step up and do the same thing. And in the photo that Gunn shared from Norway, we see the expected bunch, but also Nicholas Holt's Lex Luthor. Now this adds another character visiting the Fortress of Solitude, which means Lex is actively tracking Superman to find out where he hangs his cape. So he, Miss Teschmacher, and the Engineer all travel north in the cold conditions to find out where Superman lives, and I believe this this is because they need his technology to create a clone of Superman. Now, Superman himself, David Sweat, posted a video of him celebrating production being over in the best way possible. 
treating himself to some cake, and I cannot blame him. He has worked incredibly hard to get into shape and to stay in shape for the shoot, so he deserves to now relax and eat the food he has been missing. Now, there is also a collectible available for Superman with an autograph from David Coronsweat, and we can see the new DC Studios logo in the bottom corner. I don't know where you can get this, but it is very cool. Now, the Superman merchandise sold at San Diego Comic-Con sold out in minutes on location and online when they added it to the DC store, so hopefully they put more in stock soon. But that goes to show the level of investments fans have in this movie. It's great to see so much excitement for this film, and hopefully it lives up to the hype. And now production has ended, post-production officially begins, and this is where we hopefully will start to see some shots from the movie, and maybe even some small teasers at different Comic-Cons towards the end of the year, hopefully with a full trailer releasing at the Super Bowl. Now, let me know your predictions on when you think the trailer will release, and also let me know your thoughts on my theory about the theme of the DCU being redemption in the comments below. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!